are constantly touring. How important is that for maintaining your fan base and making new fans? It's huge. Touring, unfortunately, is the most important thing you have to do in order to A, make money, B, get more fans, C, get promotion. You're chained to that task if you want to have a comfortable checking account and continue to see profits from uh, your art. I tried to quit. I made a concerted effort to stop touring. Uh, 2010, I had an album called Life, and I toured, I, I mean, I've been touring since 99, and then world tours, and then like, and they're not, it's not like we have handlers, it's not like, I, I'm an independent artist. For the most part, I'm doing most of the stuff myself, almost everything. And so it occupies all of your time. And when you and I, I saw the difference between when I toured and didn't tour, and how that affected numbers, and interaction and engagements. And I had to accept. I was like, if I'm gonna be able to kind of you know live comfortably and get everything done that I need to get done, I'm gonna have to keep doing this. And I'm not. I'd rather stay home. And so at, in 2010, my father passed away while I was touring. I was on the west coast of Canada and I had, to, I had to like, the next day we drove to Seattle, played the show in Seattle and then I flew home that night to make the funeral. So we had to cancel one show. Then I went back the day after the funeral oh, to catch God. the next show and just keep the, the train going because so many people were reliant on you. me. Yeah. yeah. It was, a, it was a big crew. It was, you know, I, I couldn't cancel the tour. You were at the top of this whole Yeah, and shame. yeah, we were going and going, and I, anyway, that was one thing. And B's, the other guy in Epic Beardman, he was touring with me at the time, too. He was opening up. His father was dying of cancer during that oh, tour. So the whole God. time, we were expecting him to pass away. Then my dad is, suddenly was the one who passed away. But then a good friend of mine and an incredible talent named Idea passed away while I was in New Zealand. Oh, you're so far away. And yeah, that's what I felt. I said, I'm so far away. I'm sick of being so far away from everything I care about. I'm done. I'm done touring. This is it. So after the 2010 tour, I declared that. Because I didn't want people to keep asking me, when you coming here, when yeah. you coming? I was like, I'm not going anywhere. No, I'll do a little, like some shows, a few, like maybe two in a row and then come back home, which is what I did for about four years. But most of the time, I spent it in my house by myself at the end of my dead end road. Sat there like, what do I do now? I don't have, you know, I had a girlfriend at the time, but she was um, busy doing her own thing. She didn't live with me. After four years of living like that, I wrote Copper Gone, which dealt with a lot of um, solitude, depression, growing older in hip hop, what that means, like, it's not really, it's a, it's a young person's genre yeah. for the most part. And as, as much as I've been involved and as long as I've done it, I've met a lot of people in the industry. And I've also seen a lot of careers just nosedive. And I'm like, I do like the old album a lot, but this new one, I can tell you're mailing it in. And then I see stuff that they say, certain things come out about people. You mean, you live long enough, as a hero, you become the villain, you know, whatever that saying is, it's, it's true. The only one, the only person I think I would still be an intern for is Chuck D. Still, I told him that too. Like, we did shows together and we like had a powwow and I'm just like, man, he's the only one who I feel like has his head on so straight and he's, he's just stayed that path his whole career. I really cherish it, like just having him around and um, in the world, not like we're homies, we hang out, but that he's still, you know, raising awareness and um, staying active as a, wait, he's almost 60 now. I mean, that's one thing that, that I talk about a lot with friends is, and I don't know if I'm getting older, but I just, I just find hip hop now, there's hip hop versus rap and like the hip hop lifestyle, what hip hop means. And I don't see that much of that in commercial music anymore in the same sort of way it was like Chuck D. And that makes me really sad. But then I'm like, maybe it's that I'm old. Yeah, so, also I think those, old paradigms don't apply anymore for a lot of reasons because music is so fluid at this point 
I, sh I, I have to be careful about what I say. It's not my culture. I am, you know, participating in it, but, you know, the whole four elements thing, I think, is a crock of shit. Silly. I mean, it's silly. It's like, <laughs> there's four elements. It's this, 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 yeah. this. Oh, like, yeah. I get it. Like, at least it gave people an understanding of, the, okay, all these things were happening around the same time. They were interconnected. But you saw, like, through time, I saw the graph head splinter off into their own thing. The B-boys... You know, or the DJs totally, like, everything splintered off, and then other things came in, and they're like, wait, is that an element? Wait, you know, is, is this an element? Is, is, like, it, it, I don't like making it academic. Like, if you gave someone a quiz, like, what is hip-hop? It just, there's no real answer to it. What do you think hip-hop is, then, in 2019? It's amorphous. It's not a thing. Um, it, it becomes more and more difficult to define just because... We've allowed it to have a billion subgenres and just keep calling it hip hop. Whereas rock or blues, blues could turn into country western music. They didn't keep calling it blues, it was a new thing. Different people got involved, changed the sound, it became a new genre. Hip hop, same thing. New people get involved, change the sound, change the style, but it's still called hip hop. Like, okay, it's trap or, you know, it's, it's, it's indie, but. For the most part, they just keep they, the genre is hip hop, and it's not like it, I don't know if we can get everyone together and all agree like okay, we're gonna have to segment it in this way. So maybe that's good, maybe that's bad. I have no idea, but that's what it is. Yeah.